Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day one of the October, uh, October, November Pico Day Challenge. I'm here on top of Mount Ebo Shak Take. I'm, there's no way I'm getting it right, but I'm, I'm in, uh, in the Mount, Mount Aso area and basically just looking at these beautiful views. And I finally climbed this hike uh, and climbed this mountain hiking it. And that's all I have. Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, and join me on Discord. And you could actually see me solve the problem now. Hey, uh, yeah, uh, so <clears throat> let's get started. Uh, I'm in a private Airbnb that's also a BNB. So I'm ready. Uh, and also, this is day one. So let's get started on day one. Uh, welcome, everybody. I uh, hope you like the intro. Um, yeah, hope you like the intro. I forget which intro I have these days. I'm kind of all over the place. Um, but let's get started. Find mode in a binary search tree. Uh, but yeah, I'm in a private BNB and it's kind of very nice. And yeah, I have this elderly couple just kind of feeding me everything. It's been very nice here in uh, in uh, Mount Aso area in Japan. All right. Uh, if you want more about that, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to just finish this problem. Uh, hopefully, find mode in a binary search tree. Mm. I'm trying to think whether there's a shorter way that's not linear. Eh, I mean, implicit stack is kind of silly. Like, if it doesn't count, then, eh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, okay, that's just like a programming implementation trick at that point. It's not a actual theory thing. Because um, I was going to say, like, you can't do better than linear space, or at least all of H space. Um, I mean, I guess, the, so the obvious thing to do is is just to do a linear time thing with respect to look at everything. Um, can we take advantage of the f fact that it's binary search tree? I mean, I guess you can do some, like, really incremental things with respect to to you know like like uh if the biggest element on on the side is you know the same as the element on the right or something like this is the same then you know you can skip ahead a little bit but at the end of the day and i guess you can do some like pruning if you really want to like if you know that the mode is already like you know like if your current mode is four items and you know that there's only three items in the subtree, um, something like that. But I'm trying to think, how else would you take advantage of the search tree? Um, I know this is a easy, and maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit. Um, these are things that I would consider. And in terms of extra space, can I do that with on the stack? I mean, yes. I mean, the answer is yes, but you just, it's just like an implementation thing, I believe, because all you do is just return the, the element and the count and something like this, and then kind of propagate it all the way around. Um, so all you really, if you do, I guess that's the one thing about binary search tree that I guess I didn't, that is not... Um, a regular search tree is if you do an in order traversal, then you have all the numbers in order. So then the mode will come out in that way. So okay, fine. Maybe that is a thing that that's what they mean. Uh, and I guess I'll implement it that, that way um, now. But uh, <clears throat> so that is a thing that is different than a regular binary tree. But I was just yeah, I, I don't know. That's a little bit weird. I mean, maybe uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. If there's anything more than that so uh yeah i think that should be okay so let, let's let's get started then um yeah so i mean and you could even do this on the stack but i'm lazy so i'm just going to write it outside so best is you go to none count is or uh, best count is you go to, so best is the element and wait what is that why is output them in the way. Oh, you have to return all of them. Okay, that's a little bit awkward. Okay, fine. So then, 
Uh, okay, good. I mean, it's fine. And then now, because you're doing in order, then you can do them one at a time. So I guess that's what they may be asking for. Um, for me, it, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. So count is equal to zero. Uh, node is equal to none, maybe, right? Then now you do an in order of a node. Uh, so we do in order of root, and then we return best. Right? And then if node is, is none, we return. We want to do in order of left, or node.left, node.right, right? And basically here, so left, and then we do the, the current node, because this is in order, right? So then now if, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> I think I made that same mistake last time. Or oh, like, yeah, current node is equal to uh, current node dot value is equal to node dot value. Then current count increment by one, right? And then <coughs> if current count is greater than best count, best is equal to. Um, uh, was it node dot or current node dot value? Do we turn the nodes or the values? Okay, yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't make sense to return the node. I think mm, I think this. Eh. I think you could. I was gonna say you could probably save um, a non-local if you just clear and then add, but that that point is the same, right? So yeah. Um, Yeah, I think that's still true even as you go down. Okay. And then else if current count is equal to best count, or best data pen current value. Well, and I think that should be out oh, no, no, no. um I mean this is mostly good, but then not count is equal to one and node or current node is equal to node dot value. Um I guess current node is a no. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, because it can be none because my my sentinel is lazy. Um I think I could just do a root. The way that I wrote it, because I do the check separately. Um, hope this is right. <laughs> I, I kind of made some unnecessary sentinel value, so we'll see. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I am dumb. Uh, this is not related to that. Well, I mean, this is related to the dumbness, but um, I just kind of forgot about that part. Okay, fine. Wow, I am very silly today. Getting uh, um, that's cow, right? Yep. Uh, not gonna lie, this is very great lighting on my face, but uh, I am still watching a little bit because I'm getting ready. Um, I'm getting excited because I'm going out for a hike right afterwards, so definitely watching a little bit. And found last time I got wrong answer too. Don't, don't this, uh, I don't know what the hell, what the, what the, what this, uh, it's been like four years, is it four years? Wow, time really flies when you're having fun, isn't it? Uh, you can find, look up, look up that video and I might be much younger. But in any case, yeah, um, this is what I have today. I mean, I had a silly mistake. Uh, that's very silly actually. Uh, and I was just focus on the uh, one part, and I'm watching a little bit to be honest. But yeah, this is linear time, still linear space or of each space due to the stack. Um, actually, it's linear space in general because best can be linear, right? So I don't know. Uh, uh, so yeah, linear time, linear space, and yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to your mental health. I'll see y'all later, and take care. Bye bye.